This is the Ferrari 365 GTB4 and this is all you need to know in 60 seconds. It's Paris October 1968, just a few months after the student riots, and at the Auto Salon, Ferrari is introducing its new front engine, rear drive sports coupe, or Berlinetta. Designed by Leonardo Fioravanti at Pininfarina, he would later say it was the one I am most proudest of. The press expected the Daytona name to be officially announced in celebration of the Ferrari 123 finish at the Daytona 24-hour race the year before. They were proved wrong, but the name stuck. The V12 Colombo engine produced 352 horsepower, got to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds, and went on to 174 miles per hour, making it the fastest car of its day. 50 50 weight distribution made for excellent handling, all of which contributed to road and track naming it the best sports car in the world in 1970. Ferrari itself never raced the 365, though it did produce 16 competitive Zioni, 365 GTB 4Cs for favoured privateer racing team. Between them, they achieved fifth overall at Le Mans in 1971, with class wins in 72, 73 and 74. It was still a class winner at Daytona in 1979. Nearly 1,300 coupes, 122 Spiders and 16 Comp Daytonas were built before production ended in 1973, making it the last Ferrari to be produced under the sole ownership of Enzo Ferrari himself. That's all you need to know in 60 seconds.